Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, mm. Today, um, I'll show you again how to run multiple ads and multiple ad sets within one campaign. Um, there have been a lot of queries, um, a lot of emails from uh, different people uh, regarding this. So I thought I'd just make another video because um, there have been a lot of changes uh, within the ads uh, within the ads manager uh, since I last made this video. So the first thing you need to do is uh, you need to create a new campaign, click on sales and click and continue. And um, you can also go for the um, advantage plus shopping campaign, but I'd like, uh, I'd like everything to be controlled. So I just go for manual sales campaign. That's better because uh, I know which products to sell and uh, you know, what other things um, to do manually. Right. So, sales campaign just multiple give it any name so that you can remember over here um buying type should be auction campaign objective sales You can also edit it if you have any other, um, you know, if you want awareness, traffic or engagement, but we um, we want to get as many sales as we could. So, you know, we'll keep it to sales and purchases. You can also use the catalog, but you can use the catalog at the next stage as well. So I'll keep it off over here. AB testing off advantage campaign budget off. Um, this is a whole new video on advantage campaign budget. It's, it's basically campaign budget optimization. Um, previously, it was called as campaign budget optimization. Uh, it has to do something with the budget. If you um, switch it on, your every ad set will be assigned budget separately. Uh, but we'd like to keep it off uh, for now. Now, in the next page, choose the website um, or if you have an app or, you know, messaging apps or whatever. But I have a website, so, you know, we'll go for the website. Um, keep maximum number of conver conver uh, conversions maximize uh, you can also maximize value of conversions but i need maximum number of conversions this is exactly what your goal is and uh what are you uh, trying to achieve from the certain ad set um the pixel really needs to be installed and your conversion api needs to be intact as well um i have a separate video on pixel as well as the conversion api now the pixel is also known as data set. Uh, so if you can't see anything in pixels, uh, you click on data set into business settings and you'll see, I'll make a new video on that as well. Um, conversion event should be purchased. Um, I'm considering that you already uh, have a few orders. Your pixel is integrated. Your conversion API is integrated. Um, leave the cost per result goal. Uh, let Facebook decide that. Um, daily budget should be something which um, you're comfortable with. Um, I'll leave it to 4,000 PKR a day or in fact 5,000 PKR a day. So this is something an estimated um, daily results shown by Facebook. Keep the advantage plus camp uh, plus placements, uh, manual placements. Uh, you will always get stuck if you let Facebook decide it will push your ad. Uh, more towards uh, where you're, you're getting the more results. So let advantage placements uh, as the option. After that, uh, Facebook page, Instagram page, over here manual. Catalog, if your catalog is integrated um, in your commerce manager, then you can also use catalog. Now, I'll keep it uh, manual for now. Now the first thing is you need to uh, upload a single image, add image, choose any image which you think is um, appropriate for your business. After that, now this is something uh, new. Uh, you can optimize your ad with advantage plus creative. Um, for instance, just check the dimensions and other things which you think are appropriate for Facebook. So this is uh, Facebook automatically uh, enhancing your artworks. 
so let facebook do that uh, image filter music 3d animation um etc etc and you can also customize it from here and you can also change the catalog from here right So once the optimization is done, just click on done. Right. So from here, just choose the primary text. Uh, anything which is catchy for your customers. Your call to action should always be shop now because you're selling something and here just add the destination link which should be your website. This could be your landing page as well. For instance, these all products are shown on one page. Um, just land your customers to that page so they can also uh, browse through your other products that's always suggested i do not give usually home page link this is just to show you that what you need to put over here you can also add the call whatsapp or instant experience or facebook events here but i'll keep it to none um it's totally up to you your whatsapp needs to be uh, integrated with your uh, business account for this there's another video on that as well and just click on publish now this is one single image within one ad set uh, and one ad. Now someone recently asked me, he just wants to publish one ad within one ad set and duplicate the ad sets. And he asked me that, should I delete the other ads? So you do not need to delete the other ads, just do not go for another ad. But even if you have uh, duplicated the ads, just simply delete that. But it's always suggested to keep at least four to five ads because that's the basic idea that within one ad set you're trying four to five different creatives so at least you know uh, in future which sort of ads perform better for you now again duplicate it keep the original campaign number of copies um, i actually need three copies more so duplicate Click on each edit copy, All right? So from here, uh, what you can do is just click on this one and we'll name is Carousel. <coughs> Over here, choose the carousel. Carousel means there are 10 different images and similarly add image cards uh, from your either this or you know is there any other creatives you'd like to add once you have done that click continue and add different 10 images for this i'll go for the collection one just to show you guys now in collection ads your collection needs to be already set your pixel needs to be already set in your commerce account if you haven't done that there are two more videos i'll paste the links down there so you can check how to create collections and how to integrate collections with your website so once you select the collection just from here you'll have to create a new instant experience choose any uh, format you think is better for you just click on storefront just to show you guys and from here um your catalog should already be integrated. As I have mentioned again, if you do not have any catalog mentioned, there's a separate video I've done on this, how to create collections and how to run collection ads. I'll uh, share the link, you can learn a lot from there. So choose the product set. If you do not have a product set, you can click here and create a product set. Again, there is a video on this. Um, 
but I already have um, ignored this, uh, whatever the reason it is, choose something like this, right. So uh, from here, um, dynamic video, you can go for image, video or whatever you think is more appropriate and choose that, click continue. This image is or video is something which will be shown um, to the customers initially. So this needs to be creative or attractive so your customers know what you're selling. After that, label should be shop now. And here should be the landing page link which you want your customers to. For instance, what I was mentioning before, I'll just land my customers to the footwear so they can browse through all the different products and um, can shop for other products as well they like now similarly uh, like single image or any carousel you need to put in the primary tags you need to put in the headline and your instant experience is ready and you can just create um click on publish and your ad will be published from here um you can also check your ad will be shown where or on which placements unfortunately the collection ad is not shown um because of its format to uh, various places so but it will be shown in the facebook uh, feeds and instagram feed and Insta facebook stories and that should be enough now catalog okay then just click on publish now we have a single image we have a carousel we have a catalog and if you need to run a video you can also um, you know choose this and start and upload a video and you can create another ad within one aspect so after you have created uh, one asset and similarly i have shown you to create one two three four five different ads within one asset now just click on this new assets uh, says asset and duplicate it now what we're doing is um, we're creating a new asset with different audience for facebook to tap for instance your one asset was targeting the open audiences or it was targeting um you know the interests and behaviors you think are most appropriate for your website and now in a new ad set, you'd like to retarget those customers which have already visited your website or who have already um, interacted with your page. So you can create <coughs> a new audience over here. Just click on edit. And from here, you can browse uh, for the countries, regions or whatever. And similarly, you can um, also create a new audience and you can target different set of people in this particular ad. So once you have duplicated that, um, you know, this is the new right. asset so over here. What you can do is different, uh, um, you know, you can uh, choose a new set of audience. As I've mentioned, um, the previous was, you know, targeting to interest or behaviors. But over here, you can also create a new audience with different set of interests or different set of behaviors, or you can also use the same audience. That means you can uh, retarget uh, the people who have visited your website or engaged with your Facebook or um, you know any other sort of um, retargeting or uh, you know different interests or behaviors uh, for that matter. Or you can also target those people who have interacted with your Facebook page and Instagram. And once you've chosen that, 
how to create new audiences there is another video on that as well i'll share that as well um and just click on publish now you'll have two different um, ad sets within one campaign and you'll have different ads within one um, ad set as well now what you're doing exactly is within the same budget you're testing two different audiences and you're testing four different ads um, for Facebook to target to your audience from this you'll have an idea uh, which ad or ad set your um, people uh, react um, mostly react and then um, in future you can use the same format um, now what happens is um, for instance if there is a catalog ad or a single image ad which is not performing but the other ads are performing really well so create a funnel or stop deleting or stop pausing those ads that's absolutely fine delete that ad within that ad set and uh, let Facebook run um, you know uh, spend the budget more on the others so this is how you create multiple ad sets within one ad campaign and if there are any queries if there are any things uh, you'd further like to know please uh, leave a comment in the comment section and i'll try to respond as soon as i can thank you